Hi, I'm Andrew Orkin from Coulon. If you're watching this video, you're probably looking for a solution to light up an industrial conveyor. Over the next 8 minutes, I'm going to prove to you that the DLK is without a doubt the only light that should be considered for any industrial conveyor application. Unlike many other lights often considered for use on industrial conveyors, the DLK is not a modified street light or a floodlight or any other light that's adapted for the application. The DLK is built from ground up specifically to serve in a harsh mining environment. We build it to be indestructible, to survive anything the mine can throw at it. The LED technology brings many advantages to the mining world, but not all LED products are created equal. Just because something is LED, it does not automatically make it better for all applications. In fact, if not built for purpose, LEDs have a few critical conditions that can destroy the fitting in no time. For all of our industrial range, we use the top performing LEDs from Cree. These are basically the best LEDs you can get today. And Cree state that their LEDs will last over 50,000 hours to 70% brightness, providing certain criteria are strictly adhered to. There's a whole book of those criteria, and it is our job as a product manufacturer to ensure that every single one of them is strictly followed throughout the life of the product. So we build our products around all sorts of electronic technologies that guarantee the performance of our product over its life. For example, one of these key criteria is a junction temperature on chip. It must never exceed a certain level, or the LED will get damaged and start to permanently degrade in the output. So our fittings have thermal management built into the very core, the LED board itself. In this demonstration, you can see that we can remove the LED board from absolutely any of our products, in this case it's a DLK, power it up and subject it to the most extreme conditions. What you don't see here is scattered across the surface of the board, there are tiny temperature sensors that are sitting right next to LEDs and continuously feed temperature information to local power controllers. The controllers will independently dim down LEDs that are located in those hot zones or even switch them off if need be to preserve them from any permanent damage. The light bounces back to normal by itself once it's cooled down and brought back to safe operating conditions. Of course this is an extreme example and is amplified hundreds of times as to what could happen in real life. But this is a good and true demonstration of just one of those most critical protection features. As you can see, the DLK is not just a light bulb as we know it. It is an intelligent device that behaves almost like a living, breathing thing so that nothing could ever damage it. At this point, some of you might be thinking that this is an overkill. But let me assure you, this is not. We have spent years on the road traveling around mine sites all over Australia, and we consistently see thousands of lights left on during the day in the 45 degree heat under the sun. This is it. A product that's not specifically built for this will degrade in just a few weeks and you'd be replacing it over and over every summer. We have a proven industry record of replacing other mining lights that lasted as little as 48 hours in some extreme applications with DLKs, thousands of DLKs for well over two years now without a single failure. They've been through two summers, a number of cyclones and still no failures. The DLK is quite well priced. In fact, when you break it down to its performance parameters per dollar, it is the best value for money product out there anyway. But our competitors will often deliberately misguide customers and offer low power products at a lower cost. They would justify it by saying that the low power means it's more energy efficient. No, it's not. An LED product that's low power than the LK means that it will produce less light. And less light is not always an acceptable solution. For example, an Australian and international standards say that an industrial conveyor or a walkway must maintain a minimum of 40 lux. The DLK was specifically created for conveyors, so we have managed to make an optic that can push 40 lux with a phenomenal spacing of 12 meters between lights. This was crazy, unprecedented. No one could do this before. We've basically raised the bar of the industry two years ago when the DLK was released. Most other lights can achieve a minimum of 40 lux based on 8 meter spacings, but when faced with a challenge to do it with 12 meters, they can only achieve a 40 lux average. There is a big difference between minimum and average. I could have a thousand lux 
over here under the first light and two lux over there and still achieve a high average. Not only this is completely unusable, this is not what's required by the standard. So going down this path would be fundamentally wrong. Energy efficiency, by definition, means the best use of energy. The DLK with its 12 meter spacings is by far the most energy efficient solution out there for conveyors. Now, I know it's a strong statement and I'm not afraid to use it. Let others prove me otherwise. The difference between 12 meter spacing and 8 meter spacing is 33%. That means that over the conveyor length, you'll need 33% more lights. But this is where it gets tricky. 33% more lights does not equal 33% more cost. You need more poles, more cable joints, more junction boxes, more workers, more accommodation costs, more transportation costs, more overheads, and you end up with more maintenance. My point is, a slightly cheaper but lower performing fitting will end up costing more, far more than initially anticipated. This is a universal law and we all know it. Our emergency packs are deliberately removed from the DLK head. This way we can achieve a stable and predictable performance from our batteries. The emergency pack was also designed from scratch. We have used a number of unique technologies to achieve an outstanding field performance. Australian standards call for stable light output for a minimum duration of two hours. When new, the emergency pack powers the DLK for well over three and a half hours. We have built it this way so that some significant town down the track, as things age and wear out, the emergency pack still continues to perform predictably and well above the required levels. This is safety. We believe that good enough attitude is not good enough when it comes to making safety related equipment. The real life proof is out there. Our emergency packs have been in operation on mine sites all around the world for well over five years without any faults. Coolon is an Australian company manufacturing our products right here in Australia. Nobody understands Australian mines like we do. Nobody engineers their products for Australian mines like we do. Coolon was created on the backbone of electronic manufacturing company. We're different to all other lighting companies because we only focus on development of LED lighting technology. This is where we have big technological advantage over other lighting companies. LEDs are semiconductors. They are by far closer to electronics than any other traditional light bulbs. We do not work with off-the-shelf building blocks. Every product is made for purpose and specifically engineered for the task. The DLK is not a retrofit of something new into something old. It's not a street light designed for a quiet suburban life. It was never built for that. It was built for mining conveyors, for vibration, for cyclones, for impacts, for hot and dusty conditions. I'm sure you all know what summer in Pilbara Desert's like. It was built to survive that hell on earth and outshine every other light that came before it. And that's exactly what it does. It did not happen overnight. The DLK is actually a third generation of our conveyor lights. We're constantly on the road, traveling around mine sites and talking to real miners like you. We watch and listen to find out what works and what doesn't. From the moment our first product went up, we've been collecting feedback on how it performs and how it can be improved. How to make it easier to install and how to make it into even better value for the next generation. This is the result of our hard work. This is exactly what the mining market wanted and what the mining market needs. So this brings me to my opening point. The DLK is without a doubt the only product that should be considered for industrial conveyors.